slightly jog it, actually. I'm not going to race this one. Um, so yeah. I hope to see plenty Ready of people for the big out race. there. Uh, yesterday afternoon when I went on a little jog, I saw plenty of folks out there trying to actually feel warmer in this cooler air that we're experiencing to start off this week. Uh, so chilly conditions tonight. We're looking at actually at some rain showers moving in as a warm front lifts over the area. So just triggering a few early morning showers on Wednesday. We're tracking more rainfall on Thursday as a cold front is going to cross over central Virginia and then with the rain, just come some warmer temperatures. So we actually are warming up. We're going to be near 60 tomorrow, 70 on Thursday. And we'll actually maintain more seasonable hair by the end of the week as well as into the weekend. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, just getting rid of these chilly temperatures. But as of right now, we're sitting quite cool at this lunchtime hour. 39 right now in the Richmond area. It is a bit breezy here. You're noticing your winds moving in from the west, northwest just like yesterday and that's just all due to the orientation of our high pressure system that we're dealing with today but here you have your winds at 12 miles per hour that is very different than yesterday at this noon hour we were seeing winds at 20 miles per hour so thankfully not as breezy as it was yesterday but here you have your sustained wind speeds anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour and that's where they're going to remain uh, we're looking at actually winds starting to decrease within the overnight hours as a warm front lifts over the area. But here you have your high temperatures for today. We're going to sit around the upper 40s. A few of us flirting with that 50 degree mark. And then we're going to cool down tonight. We're actually only staying in the 30s. So thankfully, we look to be done with those 20s for quite some time. Um, we're just watching that cloud cover start to increase. So we'll create that blanket-like effect, which is why temperatures do stay a touch warmer. Also, we can thank the, thank the warm front that's on the horizon. But right now, at this noon hour, we're just dealing with some hazy sunshine in the sky. Nothing too threatening. But as we zoom out on your satellite and radar, I can show you what we're dealing with. There's our high-pressure system that's creating those breezy conditions, but also keeping us dry for today as that Canadian high-pressure system starts to move eastward. We're watching this low-pressure system as well as this warm front approach central Virginia. Now this warm front will actually begin the start of our warm up. You're looking at high temperatures tomorrow nearing those 60s. But here you have conditions for tonight. Overnight lows around the low to mid 30s. Tracking a few rain showers uh, moving in the overnight hours. And since temperatures will be near freezing, I actually want to rule out a bit of a light mixture. We're not expecting to see anything accumulate and most of this activity is going to be out of the area by four o'clock in the morning. So hopefully most of y'all will still be sleeping by then. As for the remainder of your Wednesday, we're just looking at mostly cloudy skies. Not expecting to see any more precipitation until Thursday and on Thursday with temperatures warming up we actually do have the chance of seeing a few showers to thunderstorms throughout the area so that's one thing that we're going to watch on Thursday as that cold front crosses over the region we're right now actually in a slight to marginal risk for Thursday's event uh, and with Thursday's event again we're just tracking heavy rainfall and also some strong winds to accompany that on Thursday as far as the rest of the week we stay close to seasonable temperatures in the 60s dry conditions and your next chance of rainfall will be just a few showers they'll squeeze out on Sunday. Cheryl? I know.